BMAT Section 1 Critical Thinking requires a lot more than just thinking critically. It requires strategies, and that is what this video is here to tell you about. My name is Firaz, I'm a Cambridge medical student, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to absolutely smash BMAT Critical Thinking. So just first of all, in terms of critical thinking, you have a couple different question types. You have conclusion style questions, you have assumption style questions, you have strength and weakening questions. You have parallels of reasoning questions, you have principle questions, and you also have flaws questions. These are pretty much the main question types off the top of my head, but what I'd say about them is the most difficult by far is probably the flaws and the parallels of reasoning, because they're a bit more involved. And if you guys want to know the techniques to getting these questions right almost every time that we used to score 6 plus in section 1, make sure to check out sigmamed.co.uk. The online BMAT course can be replayed by you guys whenever you want. It's essentially a video library that teaches you guys how to ace sections 1, 2 and 3 of the BMAT. And it was expertly made by two Cambridge University medical students who scored in the top 10% when they sat the BMAT. And the course costs just £30 for the first 50 students who buy it. So make sure you guys are quick. Now in terms of strategies for question types, I'm going to give you the strategies for two question types in this video. The first one is conclusions and the main way I look for conclusions is just looking for what I call trigger words. This is things like should, therefore, could, must, hence, thus, things like that. If you see that before a sentence, that is probably going to be your conclusion. So look through the answer options and try and look for the words that immediately come after one of those trigger words. This is quite a foolproof method to find a conclusion and is what I used to score 6.5 in section 1. Now the second question type I'm going to talk about is flaws. So with flaws you have a number of different flaws in a hierarchy and the next question type I'm going to talk about is parallels of reasoning. So I go into this in a lot more detail in the Sigma Med BMAT course but just briefly the way I did these questions was I turned the stem into what I call a syllogism. Let's say for example that if it rains, Lucy won't go to work. I'd make that into if X, Lucy won't do Y. And then i will do the same to the answer options and see which ones match the most closely. But there's a lot more question types in section one and I go into a lot more detail about this with worked examples in the BMAC, Sigma Med BMAC course. So I definitely recommend checking that out. And my last tip for section one is just in terms of how I approach to critical thinking. I approach a critical thinking aiming to get full marks on it so that I can afford to lose marks on the more difficult problem solving. I think the key to really doing well in critical thinking is reading the question first, then reading the answer options, and then going back to reading the passage so you know what you're looking for. So for example, if it's a conclusion question, you know instantly that you're, you're going to be looking for keywords, etc. But yeah, there you have it. Those are my top tips for smashing section one critical thinking. 